So we're going to look at, um, as I said, the, uh, not the convex, the con <laughs> concave lens. Um, and I always put an E on for some reason, but there's no E. There's only an E if you're writing lenses. Come back. Come back. Thank you. Um, so it's actually a, a biconcave lens, because if we're considering you know, a ray diagram, if we're considering it's both uh, sides have that concave feature. And in this case, we start with our focal length here, and we will have a second focal length on the other side, whereas with the mirrors, it was all on the same side. And we are go for our 2F and 2F as well. Okay. So we'll start with our object a long way away. Outside of 2F, outside of the centre of curvature. And you're going to see these looking exactly the same. Oh, hang on, I've done this. I've done this badly. We'll use this one anyway. We'll use this one anyway. It doesn't matter actually where our object is for the concave lens, because that parallels the uh, convex mirror, the security mirror, where everything looks small. So we have a parallel light ray, and uh, where's that going to go? It might help to know you're an observer on this side looking on. So you're going to see. An image that's smaller than it really is. Now this one's, it's actually called a diverging lens. I think I'm hitting buttons. But what does diverging mean? Spreading out. So this one's going to spread out as though it comes from that focal point. Okay. Now, the next ray is really cool because it's really easy. With uh, the, the mirrors, we could draw an angle reflecting at the same angle as, it, as its instant angle, as long as it was right at the centre there. In this case, because at that point it was flat, the mirror was considered flat, but in this case, we can just go straight through because it will go and pass exactly straight through right at the centre of that uh, lens. Okay, so now again, if you're the observer on this side, both of those light rays appear to be coming from a point, so if we follow them back down, all the way back down there, they appear to be coming from a point here. And that's where your image is. Okay, so we've actually got a dotted line going back along here, we can't see it. This looks on the same line. Uh, the nature of the image. Give them to me. Three things. Is it real or virtual? Yes, virtual. Virtual. Uh, well, this is your object. This is your image. But it's diminished, yeah. And yes, it is up right. It's fantastic. Now, if you imagine, if you shift that object, anywhere back or forth along this axis, you're going to get exactly the same effect produced. You're just going to make it diverge more um, in relation to this one. So you're going to get the same image no matter what. That's really important to know. So now we move on to our, our convex link. And this is where it gets important to have the focal length, twice the focal length, um, and so forth. There's our symbol, shrunk down for ease of like, drawing. 2F, F. Our second focal length. Okay, and Here's our object outside of 2F. 
now we get into the, okay, I think you'll be able to see where it's going really fast. Parallel light ray, it's parallel to this axis, and it goes through the focal length. Okay, and you could actually draw that center ray going all the way through if you wanted as well. Um, but uh, the one that's a little bit more useful to do is to draw one going through the focal length and refracting parallel. So let's just do that one. Okay. A little bit hard to see how this is going, but they cross over here. That's for our images. And that's lovely. Okay. Now something that's not obvious from this is, and it's the same as for the concave lens, the further back that your object goes, the closer the light rays become parallel. Okay, the light rays coming up from the top of the object. That means that uh, the further back you go, the closer to the focal length all of those light rays will be. Um, and that's just because light rays that are parallel going through are converging, converging lens. So light rays that are parallel going through a converging lens will focus to the focal point. Okay, we're going to get the nature of this and then we'll carry on. Sorry? Oh, where are you looking at it from? Now th this one's a little bit tricky because uh, if you were looking from this side, it would be a, probably a bl blurred sort of image. Um, if these were spectacles or glasses lenses, uh, this image here would be on your retina, the back of your eye, and the lens would be here. But in reality, this is one you project on a screen, and you're really observing it from here, and you're looking at the screen. <coughs> Now it's like the one that I showed you. So the object is out there, the uh, screen was what I was holding in hand, and we were looking at the screen. Okay. So, I mean, you've got pure reflection, I guess, happening at the screen to produce the light rays that are going through to your eye. Okay, so carry on with the nature. We've decided it's real because it's projected on a screen. It's made of real light rays. Um, it is upright or inverted? <coughs> yeah, it's inverted. And again, this is only vertically inverted. It's not left to right inverted. Oh, maybe it is. We should test it. We can test it. Um, whoever's got the, the lens, pick a, pick a marker outside, project it on the screen, and just tell us if what was on the left out there is on the same side out here. It, it, it might not be. Uh, and the last one, it's actually the closer, the further away it gets, so any time outside to left, it should be getting smaller than what it really is. So it should be uh, diminished. Okay. Moving on there. Okay, this time we're going to be at to F. I'm going to try and speed up the process a little bit. Remember what we're expecting based on 2F from the other one. Yep. Parallel light ray through the focal point. Through the focal point. And interesting, we've got a similar triangle here and here. So that height above should be the same as the height below. It's my diagram is not the scale, but. And then we get that. Image there. Okay, so uh, nature again is real, inverted, and uh, magnification equals what? And not? Zero. Not zero, exactly, and one. Okay, please that lesson suck. That's nice. 
It's always to know when you've been in the good to know when you've been an effective teacher. It's also good to know when you haven't been an effective teacher so that you can improve. Uh, yes, okay. Can be time consuming drawing all the ways. So we've done that, we're now between F and 2F. My drawing seems to be degrading a bit. I'll try and take a bit more care with the next one. Parallel light ray through the focal point. Good. Now you can see what's going to happen here. Because it's closer to the focal point, it's going to be much larger uh, down here. Oops. <laughs> That's terrible. You'll still get the, the same. This is roughly where it all. Okay. I'm sorry, this is so awful, but uh, I can tell you that this is correct. This is what we should be expecting. <laughs> it does not look correct. No, it'll do. The closer to the focal length you get, though, um, the more your light rays should be going through the parallel and you're creating a, an object, uh, sorry, an image that is at infinity or a long, long way away. Okay, so um, roll out is really important. Nature of the image, real again, uh, inverted again, and it is magnified. Two more to go. Uh, let's take a wee bit more care. Apparently, it's easier to draw straight lines if you keep your elbow out. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't do yeah. that. <laughs> Resolution. You can't do anything perfect. No. No one's perfect. 2F, F. Do that. 2F again. Okay, so this time, this is an easy one. Our object is at the focal point. Parallel light ray to the focal point. Since we're at the focal point, we can't draw a line going through the focal point because it'll just go straight down and look a little bit silly. So let's draw our center one passing straight through as well. And that means. We end up with parallel light rays that don't meet. So, no image. So, even if you backtrack, the backtracks never meet, so you can't uh, get an image. You can't project anything on a screen. It's not a virtual nothing, it's just a nothing. Okay. And last one. This is the exciting one. Are you pretty you're feeling pretty confident with these at this stage? Have you have you had a go at enough of them that you're confident with them? This is what you should be doing in your own study at home, is redrawing these. If you redraw every single one of them three times, you've probably drawn enough ray diagrams to keep you covered for the rest of your life, but um, it'll just stick in there really good. So some parts are repetition part. Uh, so parallel light ray, refracting through the focal point, and Again, this time we're in front of the focus, so let's draw one going through the center. So we can see that they're spreading out. It hasn't automatically changed into a uh, diverging lens. It's just a property of the geometry when we've got our object inside the focal point. So as an observer over here, we're going to see these light rays. Um, it's funny how I drew the pupil of the eye outside the eye, isn't it? But <laughs> the, uh, they should be in here. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, but they appear, the light rays appear to come from a point, so we backtrack. It is virtual, they cross over somewhere there. And they give us a giant image. Which is when I held it up in front of my face, you saw my eye, giant, giant eye. Um, so the image, in this case, is what? Virtual, yep. 
Uh, was that magnified? And it is upright. Okay. Should we scroll through them really quickly and watch the progression? Um, going back to yeah, this one. Um, the eye, the eye is over here because this is how you would actually view the image. The image is projected onto a screen, and then you're looking at the screen from over here. You could be looking from <coughs> there as well if you like. But there's a screen here, like um, just the screen of the whiteboard that I'm writing on, and the yeah. So what you mean is eye on the other side? The last one isn't projected on the screen. Um, so this last one, there we go. Um, you see the light rays as though they appear to come from the point. That's it. Yeah. Good question. Okay. Do you want me to go through those, or is that pretty cool? All right. I'll, I'll make the video available, um, and should be able to make a PDF. Save it as a PDF, and you can download and keep that too. Um, <coughs> Definitely no questions. Let's find out whether that works.